Hi Aquarius, Narai here. Um, decided to do a reading for you guys because apparently my readings for Aquarius suck. Bad. And um, yeah, they've not been so great. My Capricorn readings on the other hand, amazing. Aquarius readings, not so much. You guys haven't liked the information. I haven't really liked it either. I, I'd like for them to be more like the Capricorn readings because it's hopeful. And I feel like most people are stuck on somebody from the past. Somebody that doesn't even deserve them. But ne that's neither here nor there. You love who you love. So, my name is Nay. Um, I do readings for Capricorn and Aquarius only right now. I don't know how, if I'm going to expand that. Um, if I can learn to manage my time, I might. Um, I may on a whim put out a video for you guys, but uh, that's on the weekends. And then um, thank you for watching the video. The subscribers I have, thank you. I went from 22 yesterday to 68 today. That is such a nice feeling because I was not expecting that. Thank you. Yep. So, we're going to use a Teach Me Tarot deck. I am going to shuffle these now. And I want this to be a love reading. So, I'm hoping that the love, like, it tells that story. Spirit, please. Ooh, you know what? I need Florida water because I'm opening myself up. Memento. So... We need messages for the sign of Aquarius. Messages for the sign of Aquarius, please. In regards to love spirit, Aquarius wants to know about love. And most of these Aquarius watching probably have somebody they still love. So what is best for the collective? that are going to watch my videos. What do you have for the sign of Aquarius in regards to love? What do you have? Oh. In re oh. In re oh. Okay. In regards to Aquarius when it comes to love. I what? Momentum. Okay. Well, um, somebody came in fast with a message. I'm wondering, did this person come out recently or is this how this person approached you? But mm, why? My readings for you suck every time. So I have the Ten of Wands, which is a burden. Or, you know what? It doesn't actually have to be a burden. This was a lot of work for you guys. The relationship was a lot of work. Or it will be a lot of work. I have the Hierophant. For some of you, it's a spiritual quest that you went on. For others of you, it's possible marriage in the cards. No pun intended. And there's a reason to celebrate. However, <laughs> you got a fire sign that's like, Gonna come out of the woodworks. No pun intended. That's yeah, ones. That's gonna come out of nowhere, and they're gonna be. Yeah. Impulsive. And this person's gonna move fast. This person's gonna move fast.
They may rush you for sex. Use your intuition. Use your intuition. Let's see what else is in the card. Spirit, please. Okay. Um... Seven of Pentacles. Even though this person might be a fire sign, they may actually be in for the long haul. They're willing to invest in you. Yep. Look at that. This really makes me believe that this Hierophant card is pro is probably more on the spiritual aspect than marriage. Um, and it actually could be that this, this person is thinking of all these things and hasn't actually done anything. It's like, what's the use of thinking if you're not taking action? It's kind of pointless. Don't put all your energy into thinking about it if you're not actually going to do it. So now I'm starting to think that this person, while this person is sitting here thinking about coming to you. Okay, this made me change my story now. And how much work it's going to be. Okay, this is your past person now. Okay, okay, okay. So your past person is thinking about coming to you. They're excited. But they're thinking of how much work it involves in order to be with you because you're not taking no shit from nobody. They're thinking about marriage. This is totally made me change my story. They're thinking about marriage or some of you are on a spiritual quest. And then some of you may have reason to celebrate, while others of you more than likely dealt with a third-party relationship. So this person is trying to come make up for this that happened already, and you're not having it. But that's okay, because this fine, fine red wine guy, Wands, Mr. Wands, Knight of Wands, is coming towards you, and he's passionate. You do need to trust your intuition, though. Listen to it. When I, so when I see the red helmet, it just makes me think of red flags. Like, pay attention to the red flags, even though it's not saying that here. But just remember to pay attention. I know some of us fall in love with the words, and the words sound so great. But if the actions don't match the words, we just need to just, like, not even deal with that situation. But this person that's meant for you, that's coming to be serious with you, that doesn't show red flags, that person is here to invest in you. So you're going to use your discernment and listen to your intuition to decide which one it is. This person is taking you serious. And you're both attracted to each other. I wonder what's at the bottom of the deck. Oh shit, yes. This person is really in for the long, long, long haul. Family, wealth, y'all working together, power couple. You're not taking care of this person and this person is running the streets. Like, y'all are together together. Aw. This kind of scared me at first. But it turned out okay. I can't believe it was nine minutes. But let's see what your past person's got to say. Because they fucked up. I'm sure. All right. 
Well, let's see what your past person's got to say, even though you need to focus on the new person. But just in case you want to know what your past person has to say, Spirit, what does the past person for Aquarius have to say, please? What do they have to say to Aquarius? Or at least what are their thoughts? Let us pry into their mind. What are their thoughts? What are their thoughts? I guess they don't have any because nothing's coming out. Okay. Your strength intimidates me. You don't need me. What else for the sign of Aquarius from their past person? Any messages from the past person? And you may have to use your intuition to decide between the past person and this person. And I say that because when we love somebody, it's not so hard to walk away for a, a lot of people. Something sometimes just keep us, keeps us tied to that person. But sometimes it's necessary to love people from the distance from a distance especially if they've been mistreating you okay this person don't have nothing else to say spirit like for real spirit so turn it over thank you I realized I loved you once I left. This person could have left you physically, like walked away from you, or you guys could have been together and this person left you emotionally and started investing in somebody else. You would know if this is the case or not. All I know is that's not a good feeling. Okay, I've done this so many times, that's enough for this. I don't think any more are going to come out. I took you for granted. I took advantage. Please forgive me. Aquarius, it looks like you have new love coming. Um, I can't say if this person comes, if they've changed or not. Because what really bothers me about this is the fact that the Ten of Wands is there. Because they're thinking of how much, how hard the work is going to be to make it work with you. Nigga, how hard is it to do the right thing? Like, it shouldn't be hard. It's hard for somebody to do the right thing when they always do the wrong thing. Or when they're so used to trying to get away with stuff that's when it's hard so you need to think on what you've gone through already and if you're willing to go through that again like if this person comes back the the last person your ex and you want to give them a chance make them earn that like make them earn that don't just give yourself to them make them earn that make them earn your forgiveness too He's sorry. Shouldn't be sorry because you shouldn't have did it. Please forgive me. If the tables were turned, would they forgive you? That's, that's the magic question right there. Spirit, do you have any other, quest, uh, any other messages for the sign of Aquarius? Do you have any warnings in regards to their person? Do you have any warnings in regards to their person? What messages do you have? Okay. Thank you. Okay.
so so when I see Luna sometimes I feel like it has the meaning of the moon in tarot and at other times I feel like it means bright like the brightness of the moon like illuminating bringing things to light <clears throat> and this is up this was upside down so uh, and this was the first card to pop out so I'm getting that you're still not going to know everything because this person is not going to tell you They're not going to tell you. Voice upside down. You're not going to have any type of growth and they haven't grown. You won't have growth being with them and they have not grown at all. They did not learn their lesson. Release. Right side. This is saying release. This is saying no growth. Release. And wealth. If you let this person go and move on to somebody else you will have that ten of pentacles and I wasn't even trying to clarify this card but this is clarifying you will have wealth but you have to let that old person go seven of pentacles ten of pentacles Long-term investment in you is what somebody else is willing to do. You're going to have ultimate happiness. You guys are going to have unified love and such a strong bond. And wealth confirmed or clarified by oracle cards. And I didn't even ask for clarification. I was asking for warnings in regards to your person. That's what all these are. Things aren't going to come to light. Release that person. They haven't grown. If you stay with them, you're not going to grow. And they're not going to speak the truth. Trust your intuition, please. Thank you, Aquarius. I think it was pretty decent. I, I think it's nice to know somebody's coming. And um, I think fire signs are good lovers, too. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. All right. Again, my name is Nay, Narai, Amala Nay, whatever you want to call me. Um, if this resonated or if you'd like to hear more readings from me, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Um, but whatever you choose to do, I really appreciate you dropping by. Thank you. Bye.